make the final pleat centered after I get the two sides finished. But I wanted to make sure that I had about enough fabric and that I'd pinned it about the right way. So, you know, I still need to finish the edges and everything. But I wanted to show, you know, what I would do before I started sewing. And I put a lot of pins in it, make sure that it had the right look. And now I'll start to fine tune it and I'll video that in steps. So I'll take these in like so. And then I'm taking the tail of the vest into two pieces. And I will start just to kind of connect these together so that I can realign them on the bottom of the vest. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and finish the edge. So I'll just go all the way around in a circle or a square, whatever. There's no reason why you couldn't do this on just a regular sewing machine. Um, since I have the serger and I tend to work kind of sloppy anyways, it helps me um, you know, clean things up a little bit. But again, I mean, there isn't anything that we're doing here that you couldn't do on just a regular old sewing machine. So what I did after I straight stitched the waist and the edges of the bottom of the, of the vest is just pin this, everything's inside out, and I just pinned this to the back of the vest. So I will unbutton the vest and take this to the sewing machine and just do a straight stitch. And then we're done with the vest. The vest finished. Oh, got to get that. They always stop when I put them on camera. It's like they have this sixth sense. Okay, I just noticed this is not one of my best hair days, so I'm feeling a little embarrassed. Should have looked in the mirror. Time to cut. Scissors. Really? Every time I start to record, I misplace my scissors. You've got to be kidding me.